Hello everybody, welcome back to a new episode of Tell Me Why. This is chapter two, it just released a little bit late, so this episode might have to be a little bit short just to make sure I can actually get this because it's currently 1.14 and this video has to be up at three. So uh, we might have to make this one a little bit short. But uh, yeah, I wasn't prepared for it to come out late. Once upon a time in a deep and ancient forest, there lived a pair of crafty goblins. Crafty goblins did everything together, until one day, when darkness overwhelmed the big wooden house in which they lived. Blamed for the darkness, Brother Goblin was forced to leave the forest, while his sister had to stay behind. Ten years later, they were finally reunited. Together, they decided to confront the darkness in the big wooden house. Though they sought the help of their friends in the forest, they found that no one wanted to delve into the long gone past. This is how the goblins found themselves alone in the woods, trying to discover why darkness had submerged the big wooden house. That was a nice little way of retelling it while also giving some new, uh, <clears throat> like a new story, basically. <laughs> Tomorrow we should play Compass and North Star in the woods. Be sure to wear your hat then. <laughs> you be sure to wear your hat. <laughs> <laughs> All right, who wants ice cream? Me! Eat up. Oof. Without a word, she went out and buried the tiara in the ground beneath the sapling. And as the final scoop of dirt fell, the tiara felt truly gone, and with it, the final link to her old self. She could only go forward and find a new place for herself in this world, where she was no longer truly a princess in a tiara and a beautiful gown, but a wan woman, alone in a deep and ancient wood. And that was how the princess lost her most precious treasure, and her title. I don't like that story. There were no goblins, and it was depressing. We won't read it again. I love you, Mom. Not me. <laughs> Just kidding. <laughs> love you, Mom. I love you, too. Sleep well and dream, my doves. I don't like this music here. It's very ominous, and I don't like where this could potentially Ollie? be going. Ollie? Are we just working up to the same scene that we saw last time again, but now we're getting context for what happened before? Possibly. What a waste.
Still gives me chills. Oh no. Family secrets, eh? That's what chapter two is about. Let's find out these family secrets, shall we? I was about to say, this is another copyrighted song, isn't it? Damn it all. <laughs> well, this part's gonna get claimed too, I guess. doing all right I thought coming here would be closing a chapter of our lives you know and instead we've spun off a whole miserable prequel trilogy okay no we're not letting ourselves do this again come on up Mind-numbing labor's a great way to forget your troubles. Uh, can't we just have coffee instead? No. On your feet, soldier. Let's take a break from packing and sort out the furniture. Mm. If we get enough done, I'll drive you into town and buy you a gallon of ice cream. Mint chocolate chip, two gallons. Let's do this. Good choice. Mint chocolate chip's the best. Goblin face is keep. Dollar sign is donate or sell. And trash can as well. Trash. By the way, I cleared out most of the stuff from the bathroom this morning, but I left you the toilet. How very generous of you. Everywhere I look, there's just stuff, stuff, and more stuff. Mary and the Magpie. 
Yep, had a bit of a horde going, didn't she? Hello, ancient broken down machines. That will be the future owner's problem. Okay, so we don't have to worry about anything in here. There we go. Trash. Just a bunch of garbage in this room, I say. What about you? Is you just looking at the pictures again? Yeah, I've already looked at these. Not much reason to look at those again. We don't really want to keep anything in here, right? Hmm. What about that dresser? If you want your towels to rot, go for it. We could clean it up. Maybe someone could clean it up? It's well made. Your call. Uh, keep it. Keeping it. I personally wouldn't, but... I feel like Allison might. Plus, we want to keep something, right? Thanks for clearing out those cabinets. Not my pleasure. Smell? <laughs> oh, ew, ew, ew. Raven Sarah. Oh, God. I can still taste it. Put it away. Ugh. Is that some kind of medicine? Say, ah. Uh... Uh... I remember cutting off shaving cream beards with these. <laughs> yeah. Shaving cream beards with uh, the like little sticks. I always think of them as popsicle sticks. I'm not exactly sure what they're called. But the things that doctors put in your mouth. Always hated the taste of that wood. Dump in cake. Ingredients. One can of cherry, crushed pineapple. Walnuts, flour, teaspoon of salt, brown sugar. Or birch syrup, teaspoon baking powder. Here, let's read it like this. Uh, a 9 by 13 inch pan mix cherries and pineapple. Sprinkle cake mix over pineapple and cherry mixture. Sprinkle walnuts over top. Walnuts crossed out drawing of chocolate bar instead. <laughs> Bake in a 350 degree Fahrenheit oven for 35 or 40 minutes or until golden brown every day. Please, mom. Interesting. Got some recipes. Ancient appliances, you are staying here. Although, that oven looks in okay enough shape. No way. We are not moving the oven. <laughs> yes. What note am I going to stick on Tyler? Yes, keep. We're keeping that. You're doing that. a great job. Uh, thanks? <laughs> he doesn't know he has a sticky note on his back. Hmm. Crummy table and wobbly chairs. Uh, trash. We ate way too much expired food on this table. And away it goes. Oh. Oh, God. That's... What's that smell? <laughs> oh, what's that smell? You hungry? We have a whole lot of nothing. Aw, uh, I was hoping maybe you could make me one of those pickle and ketchup sandwiches. Well, there is ketchup in here, I think. I'm sorry, sir. We are all out of pickles today. Could I interest you in a ketchup-only sandwich? <laughs> Looks like there's still a bottle back here. Uh, ew. Says the guy who used to eat peanut butter with ranch. Ooh. Mm -mm. So good. Ooh. Tyler, why? I was gonna say something about the pickle and ketchup, but peanut butter and ranch? Ugh. Oh, we gotta, we gotta get out of here. We gotta escape. Um, how did I? Spacebar, yeah. Smells like delicious garbage. Ooh, yes, delicious indeed. <laughs> or could it be Stinky Pants Sam? <laughs> oh, Stinky Pants Sam! <laughs> Come on now. Sam got that smell getting a skunk out of our barn. Be nice. <gasps> a skunk? What did you do to her? Is she okay? <laughs> sure is. She just went hunting for food and couldn't get back out. All she needed was a little nudge to get her on her way. Sam Kansky, hero <laughs> of skunk kind. I remember being super impressed by him, and it made me want to be a wild animal superhero too. All right, the game saved right there, but we can't it, we can't have a 15 minute episode. I refuse, even if the episode has to go up late. Allison, I asked you to clean up the coffee. Ugh, gross stain is gross. Ugh, what happened? Some unfortunate spillage that brought about the end of indoor tea parties. I hid the stain with my toys, forgetting that they would eventually be picked up. 
Brilliant move, Ronan. Uh, I was scared. I was so afraid that Marianne would ground me for the rest of my life. But she didn't, right? No. I remember her saying that that sufficiently adventurous play ensures that accidents will happen. And that it wasn't a big deal. But still, no more tea parties inside. All right, look. What to do with this? Uh, I mean, we could s it's kind of scratched up. I say we trash it. Uh, this has been sitting in a damp house for 10 years. No one wants to eat off it. Hasn't all of this stuff been sitting in a damp house for 10 years? Look under. Ooh. Ha ha. What's this doing down here? I will Is take it. Gum? Ugh. I guess that was probably me. That's disgusting. <laughs> the big frog. Okay, and the game saved again. Ugh. This It's just 17 minutes, though. I can't. I can't do it. We gotta make a little bit more progress. If only the game had came out on time, but they experienced some issues uh, with getting it to actually work on Steam. Had to wait a teeny tiny bit. Alright, well, where now? I feel like we've gotten most everything down here, Alex, so I guess let's go up. I asked you to clean up the coffee table three times already. <laughs> hey, did you finish packing upstairs? Oh. Nope. There's way too much junk to sort through. And what do you know? More stuff. Look downstairs. Look at Tyler. But soft. What light through yonder? Oh. There's a paper plane stuck in the ceiling light. Maybe it has a secret message from our past selves. Find something to knock it down. Hmm. I could use that ball. Uh... It's too far. Forget it. Wait. I don't want to break something. Boy, oh, no, I want to knock it down. I, I thought hey, I had Tyler, to go pick up the ball. For horses, Allison. <laughs> it drove me so crazy. Okay. Let's Whoops. see if I can still do this. Didn't mean to cut that dialogue off. Says you miss. Where's my five bucks? Huh? Yeah, pick it up. Oh my god. Wow. <laughs> this is something real. What is it? Allison's a uh, big fat loser. You're no better at insults than you were at 11. <laughs> Why mess with perfection? We getting rid of you, buddy? Baloney. <laughs> Guess who I found? Baloney. Alley belly baloney? Why, yes. I would love to have a tea party with you again for the third time today. No. We should gather up all our old toys and give them to charity. What's that? I said we should give our old toys to charity. Oh, good idea. Except for maybe one or two. <laughs> Softy. Five little monkeys jumping on the bed. Hey, Tyler. How does five little monkeys go again? Five little monkeys jumping on the bed. One fell down and bumped his head. Mama called the doctor. The doctor said... No more monkeys jumping on the bed. Hmm. Oh, cool, and we have another memory. If I can find it? Where? Over here? Oh, over here. No more monkeys jumping on the bed. <laughs> or out of a tree. Don't say that. Mama's gonna be so mad you had to go to the hospital. She worries way too much about what people think. Everything okay up there? Yeah. When's mom coming She'll home? She'll be here soon. Is anyone hungry? No, I'm okay. Thank you. <laughs> you scared me to death when you fell out of that tree. I cried most of the way to Tessa's house. It was kind of exciting going to the hospital, but the part after that with Marianne, that was less fun. I remember the look that Tessa gave her when she finally came home. If looks could kill, right? Yeah. And Marianne was a mess. Oh no, the game didn't save there. Uh, I was kind of expecting it to, damn it. <sighs> Will this ever stop feeling so weird? 
Uh, congratulations, you found the map that will lead you on with no mishap. Follow my trails of twinkling stones and perchance you'll escape the unknown. Okay. So long, trusty bunk beds. Dearest Ollie, how are you? I'm at the boat. I'm in the boathouse and everything is going very well. I'm writing this letter to formally invite you to my tea party. I will prepare tea and cookies and you can meet my dearest friend Baloney, who I know you will love. Please come this afternoon at 4 p.m. Regards. Uh, wait. This is, can I can I read the other ones too? I don't think I can. Dear Allison, thanks so much for the invitation. Everything is good here too. No beavers in sight though. I will be there at 4.15 because I need to make sure to feed the birds or mine will go crazy. See you soon. <laughs> uh, look. This is Keep. To Ollie from Allison. Others may not understand the last we have together and love we share for each other, but I know whatever happens, every goblin has a twin. Happy Siblings Day. Okay. I believe that's all the stuff here. So, you gonna come back down to help me or what? I'm coming, I'm coming. I just had to investigate everything up there. Well, you gonna clean off the coffee table? Fine. Fine. Clean freak? It's gonna leave a stain on the wood. Oh, this coffee table. I thought you were talking about that. But that's just a regular table. All this right. is a coffee table. I'll clean it up. Thanks. While you do that, I'll check out the furniture. What is this? I'm guessing you want to keep the coffee table? Uh... What about you? If there's anything you want, speak now. I'm not really planning on bringing furniture to Denali. And if I need a base in Juno, you'll have all the furniture I need. How very non-committal of you. All right, I'll keep it. What? What is that? <laughs> That's weird. I really like that armchair. You like the mold smell? Maybe sit in it for a few minutes and see if you get used to the mold smell first. Uh, on second thought, never mind. Trash. Another one for the landfill. There you go. Is that everything? And uh, finally. I hate to say it, but the couches get a one way ticket to the dump. No protest here. I think I have permanent knee damage from a decade of bumping into the corner of those damn things. Well, then that's it for the living room. You are relieved from your duties. Yay. Furniture's boring. Let's go play. So what now? What's up? Should I throw these pictures out? They're happy memories. I mean, most of them are pretty happy memories. I guess. You look cute here. That's not me. I mean... It is, but... Don't worry, I get it. But not really. I get it. It's just weird seeing myself like that again. Damn. Didn't think a picture could throw me like this anymore. I'm sorry about that. I'm sorry. That sounds really rough. Yeah. I mean, don't get me wrong. I'm like a thousand times better. But I've got a ways to go before I'm comfortable taking my shirt off. Which is why I'm scheduling my top surgery as soon as we sell this house. No more putting a binder on every morning. God, that sounds fucking amazing. Yeah, totally. Just so you know, I'll be there to help out when you do. Whatever you need. <laughs> Thanks. All right. What's your verdict, Ronan? You know what? I'll keep a few. To remind us how far we've come. Eh, it's an alright picture, I guess. Oh man, I love this one. <laughs> Why do I look so pissed? I remember loving this. Maybe because Marianne was sticking a camera in your face? There. I also hate taking pictures. Oh, another memory? Come on, honey, smile like Allison. Hold up your fish. 
It's not my fish anymore. Allison stole it. No. My sister, the fish thief. <laughs> you were just being bratty. Was I though? Yes. All I did was help clean it when we were out on the porch. Eddie had to force you to share. All right, so that looks like a good spot to go ahead and end this one off as it did just save there. So I'm going to render this out and hope that uh, it'll be finished processing by the time it has to go up at three. So I hope you've enjoyed this episode of chapter two of Tell Me Why, and I will see you next time.